Hey, Merry Christmas Eve, ladies and gentlemen. I have my most handsome son, Gager, here. And we're gonna show you one of our favorite holiday treats. I would, I would venture to say it's a staple at the Butler House to do a, what are we doing? Prime rib. And how are we doing it? Smoking it. We're gonna smoke this big old fat prime rib in the Camp Chef woodwind. Yeah. So we have uh, the whole side of Kaylee's family coming um, to spend Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with us. So we bought this 17 and a half pound prime rib to hopefully feed those hungry buggers. So it is almost noon. Uh, we told them we were gonna eat around five or six. But that will get pushed back, I guarantee you, to at least six or seven, if not a little later. The great thing about doing a prime rib is you can start it out real slow, get that smoke in there, and then if they actually show up on time, which you guys know in-laws don't ever show up on time, uh, you can crank it up and uh, get, get it cooked to your desired temperature. We're, we're gonna do this one to a medium rare, obviously, which is around 125 degrees. So we are gonna show you how easy this really is. Gage is gonna encrust this bad boy, and our go-to is just some Lipton onion mix, and we actually mix in some uh, Lipton beefy onion soup mix, and then we put it in a bowl and actually put one package of au jus in there, and then we are gonna start out though with some salt and pepper. So Gage is gonna salt and pepper this bad boy at first. Make sure you cover the whole prime rib so you have a good crust. Once you flipped over the prime rib, that side up, you're only gonna scour it three to four inches. So once you scoured your prime rib, you're gonna apply the crust. It's really important to pat the crust in. Now that we have our whole prime rib encrusted, we're gonna go check on the smoker to see where, what it's at. All right guys, so we have the woodwind going. As you can see, we've set the temp at 175 degrees. We're gonna go slow um, for a few hours. And uh, so we're there, we're at temp. We're at 100, 175 degrees right on. And so we're gonna grab the prime rib, throw it on there. It's gonna be delicious. I don't wanna put this guy fat side down. I always like to get the remainder soup mix, just so we're not wasting any. Throw it on there. We'll actually throw our meat probe, the thickest part. So we know we're not gonna overcook this bad boy. We're gonna shut her now for a few hours. All right guys, it has been, do you know how long? Uh, like five, six hours? Close, five and a half hours, right on the money. So we had five and a half hours, we didn't turn it up, we left it at 175. Uh, the reason being is like I was talking about earlier, it is 5.30, we were supposed to begin eating at five. And uh, we got half the in-laws here, the other half haven't even left and it's an hour drive. So but we have to pull it off. If you look at this here, probe temp, 123. Actually a little, I wanted to pull it at 120, but it'll be fine. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Gage, you wanna do us the honors? Yep. Oh, so oh, oh boy. Man. That looks spectacular. Yep. Are you in? I'm definitely in. All right, we're gonna pull it, and then what are we gonna do? Eat it. Well, first we gotta let it sit. Oh, we gotta yeah. rest, like we always do. Uh, we're gonna pull it out and take it inside and we're gonna actually wrap it loosely with some tin foil and let it sit until hopefully they get here. Pull this off without dropping it. Yeah. Right here. The in-laws have finally arrived. 
What time did I tell you guys? Five? Just hey, five. we were only like an hour and a half. That's, that's actually good. Not quite two. It worked out good. It did. So we're going to cut this open and see what it looks like. I kind of peeked earlier. But I'm going to cut this first end piece. Mm. <laughs> look at that. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Everyone's mouth for water. That's a big piece of prime rib, Marcus. Is that yours? That Look at that. It's about to 130 degrees right there in internal temp. We might have to cook some of the ends a little more because not everyone likes medium rare, but what we love about the Camp Chef during the holidays is you cook outside, it doesn't make a lot of mess, so you have room for everything else that's going on in here. Right? That's why the smoker's been so great during the holiday season. Anyways, we're going to go enjoy uh, Christmas Eve. Hopefully you guys do the same. Thanks for watching. This is all Gage too. He prepared this. Gage, come take, come take credit for this. Gage prepared this as you guys saw. Good work, bud. Now you can cook for me from now on, okay? Okay. Okay. Alright guys, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye -bye. Merry Christmas.